I... Again, I want to thank you for... Solemns and I want to... I don't want to apologize, that sounds wrong, but... It could have gotten a lot worse. It could have. It didn't. I never took you for a man that really concerns himself with the bad things that could happen. <laughs> I I suppose I don't express that quiet knowing thought in the back of my mind very often, but uh, I do every day. Don't act on it, I try not to, but we have that in common. I feel guilty, he says, looking down at Isadora. Every time we step into a fight that we might not make it out of, I feel guilty. Guilty for what? That we have to fight in the first place, or? That I might not make it back. And if I don't? Chester said he's at all. Then you worry that she won't make it in time. I worry that I won't make it in time for her. I have no doubt that she won't. I believe with absolute certainty that she will surpass any trial thrown before her, any task, any hurdle, any obstacle. Doubt is a personal demon. When she makes it to the top and waits, And if I never show up, we won't keep her waiting long. Because that no. worry, that doubt in your mind, you're going to do the smart thing. You're going to let it fuel you. You're going to let it make you fight like ten men combined into one man. <laughs> He's just a. To... Your form, you know, you're you're a twenty strength man, a human. And you're a goddamn not tank. A human. Hmm? Oh, right, yeah. But a man, yes. Human shaped. Uh, you're gonna let it drive you forward, all the way up that path and into her arms. Yes. Because. Because I know you don't want to disappoint her. You see, you see, a part of me is... There's the guilt and the doubt. The, I question what right I have to take risks. What... Insanity compels me to step in front of... Whatever is thrown at us at River Company. To intercept. What right do I really have? But. And he turns again. Looking back to Alessander. I also understand. That if I didn't. I would be acting against my nature. I would be acting against who I am. And if I stop being the man I am, the man she fell in love with will disappear. So I have to. I guess what I'm struggling with, and I guess what I'm trying to say is that I don't know how to internalize and accept the guilt I'm feeling. You just need to accept that 
The risks you take, you take for her. Sure, you may die because of it. You may leave her suffering, alone. But fights for that doesn't come to pass. And it won't. You have all this, frankly, poetic talk about staying true to yourself, the man she <laughs> fell in love with. Well, that man can take anything thrown his way. I've seen it time and time again. I mean, the fight outside your home, that damn carnival, Auntie Blackreach. These are things that ordinary folk would die to in the blink of an eye. And yet, together we came out on top. Every time, without question. Together. Yes, I suppose that's true. Together. If you ever find yourself doubting yourself, doubting your strength, look to us, to them out there. If faith in yourself is the issue, have some faith in your friends. Hmm. <laughs> That's what keeps me going. Yes, I'll. I will. I will do that. You Just know. Go on. No, go on. No, I was going to say something cheeky. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you you would see a bit of heat distortion begin to come off him as he sort of like stands up. Thank you. I, I realize I say thank you a lot. I guess I have a lot to be grateful for. You're welcome. <laughs> and then you leave or stay leave stay but <laughs> you know the, the the heat the sweltering oppressive power I suppose that I've been using I do. You saw it in Solomon's. You've seen it before. I thought that you lost all your magic when you severed your ties. I did. So where's this all coming from? And where are you going with this? Remember, did I, did I ever tell you about the song I heard on the day I left home? I believe I might have. Uh, did you? I don't recall. I, in case I didn't. Um, I heard a song that compelled me to leave Solomus and wander into the desert alone and... Don't. Ever do that? That is stupid beyond reckless. But something oh. compelled me, and I did, and I left, and I wandered. Several nights, seeking shelter on rocky outcroppings where I could find it, but crossing the sand. I kind of lost track of where I was. Lost track of time. And, and when everything looks the same, when it's one dune after the other, you sort of lose track of everything. But I eventually saw a campfire. She was sitting by it. 
so I joined the next, sat down next to her by the fire, and that's when the song stopped. I heard it again, that same song, back in front of my home, during the fight. See the heat distortion intensified a little bit at that. I'm beginning to understand something. What? You might have fallen in love with a woman who has fire at her beck and call, but Isadora, she lit a fire in me. Stirred something that goes deeper than magic, deeper than my oath to the great Shimandrax, something ancient, timeless. You owe a lot to this woman. Everything. Kind of touching the air around him. I think... I think I'm beginning to understand that I need to add passion to this. I need to embrace my passion. I need to let go of a lot of things. My anger. My as long as you hold on for your flare of the dramatics, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could force that out of me. I think that's in my bones too deep. I would never dare to try. Passion. Hell of a driving force. Hell of a power. Oh, by the way, hmm. I don't know if you're a big on ceremonies and the like, but... Uh, I won't call myself a master of them, but... Uh, uh, I, f I fucking hate Harlequins. <laughs> Truly the basest form of comedy. But why do you ask? I may not have the ability to <laughs> magically shape and take shortcuts anymore, but I come from an accomplished family of jewelers, craftsmen, artisans. I've given you a gift before, but I haven't given you and the Kasai a gift. Should you want one? I can. That kid is off guard. I don't give a shit if he's a viewed as a surprise. He was not expecting that. Oh. Uh, why do we get the feeling you're not talking about friendship bracelets? Because I am not. Uh, I love the woman, but I don't think we're quite ready for that step in our relationship. It is a chaotic world we live in at the moment. I don't think uh, merging our assets, was, you know, in the eyes of the law is exactly <laughs> in, in the cards for the time being. What about an official merging of the heart? No law. No ceremony. No. Just a reaffirmation of each other. I'll give it some thought. You see that chair? I pointed to the chair next to Isidore's bed. Well, golly gee, I sure do. It is a very lonely chair to sit in, Alessandra. Don't wait too long. I 
I understand. And I appreciate the thought. More than you can know. I should, uh, <clears throat> I should be getting on. I'll, um, stay here a while longer. Just make sure you get some sleep. In a bed, that is. That chair may be lonely, but it's twice as uncomfortable. You're right. It is. Yeah, I get the feeling I haven't convinced you an ounce. Have a good night, John. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> you strides on out. You stride on out. Spurs jingling and jangling. Jingle jangle. He wears him for fashion at this point. <laughs> that was nice. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Passion. Passion. The power of love and friendship. Wow. The power of love. <laughs> and also friendship. One, one of his, uh, <laughs> one of Sitar's aspiring levels, he, he gets uh, what is equivocally uh, rage, but it's just called passion. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander gets it too. He calls it dad strength. No wonder he's so good with those deck saves. Dad reflexes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I might rename it to that. <laughs> I'm right there, sure Amber has her own thoughts on it. <laughs> Would you say, Crash? I'm sure Amber has her own thoughts on that. <laughs> she, I can't do it. <laughs> oh my God! Back to Lovely back to back sessions. Amber questioning if size Gregnan. Gregnan. Sajar, Sajar offering the fucking matrimonial rings. Bro, they've been dating is, for like three weeks. Rings. I, I promise you, Kasai is not interested in those sorts of rings. Never, as people don't have them. I thought as much. Yeah, uh, cult, they, don't exactly, they don't exactly get married in the normal way, as provincials do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Sajar doesn't know that. <laughs> I think it's safe to assume most provincials know that. Um, <laughs> the people that don't use money or value coin or gold or silver or anything like that beyond any alchemical or mythological components of them. Yeah, I think it's fair to assume most <laughs> provincials would know that. Fair enough. <laughs> Most provincials, but the ones that are so obsessed with jewelry, you have to. Right. Like I guess no, he's also a world it's traveler, it's so. <laughs> yeah, true. He forgore that part. Forgore. Burgore. He for more like uh, more like the more I think about it, more like perhaps willfully ignoring it. <laughs> Speaking of Burgore, we can food crash. And Garth, depending if you've eaten earlier. I have pizza. I've been snacking for the past few hours, but thank you for checking. Pizza? No. Not a stromboli? <laughs> I wish it was a stromboli. After you enlightened me to that existing <laughs> earlier, I'm like, God damn, I want stromboli. It can become one. Roll it up. Fucking what? <laughs> Roll, it <laughs> Roll it up. up. <laughs> Pick it up. Um, <laughs> during all the, the time skip fuckery that's going to be happening in the next while, Silas would still have time, at least at some point, to talk to Captain Oswain about attempting to learn undead, right? Um, well, he's not exactly there for you to... Not during that part. During, uh... Oh, fuck. When they went to Devil's Village, no. Correct. Um, aside from that, probably, but I can tell you right now, he's not exactly a teacher. Yeah, we talked about that already. I'm just more wondering if there's time during this time skip to at least for Silas I'm to putting, have a conversation. I'm, I'm, you can, and I'm probably going to put a final check-in with everyone 
of like you guys have until like next week or maybe the one they're after to finish your time skip shit. Because yeah. cool. it's been like months. Yeah. In, in real life, so. Oh, I mean, the time skip. <laughs> that's the only other thing in the time skip that I want to do, other than you know, yeah. Blair's Village. Yeah. It's rough when there's just so much stuff. So much stuff to do. Um, I do think the the side quests and the small mini session things. I think this has been a very good idea. It has helped us out significantly with making this move faster. Dear God. Definitely. We would have spent I, the next um, several months on the twins. I'm happy for that, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not sure if I can sustainably do this going forward. That's fair. That's understandable. It's a lot. I think what, what the uh, uh, like sessions of the week thing? During the weekdays? Yeah. Yeah. I think it would be more manageable, or I guess you should say less not manageable, uh, outside of like a, a sort of uh, time skip, right? Because then not everyone is doing hope. things. That's my hope. I guess we'll see it in practice. But yeah, that's my hope too. That's my that's my gut talking though. Honestly, I think given everything that's happened, so Jar would spend the rest of the time skip period uh, training under uh, their ex mentor, Eleonora, if she would allow that. Mm -hmm. um, even to the point where he would stay behind uh, when the rest go to aid Blair. So, you just won't be doing anything next week then? Yes, I am okay with that. Uh, the only thing I have to do during this uh, time skip, if I can, can, if I can fit in, is uh, taking care of those bandits. Oh yeah, the bandits. There is. Or yeah, it is upgraded to be done. There's what. There is. It would have been early in the time skip, yeah. Now. Because that happened at least after. It would happen after things are going down, right? So you guys have like only a couple of sectors of time, sections right. of time that you guys could go do that in. A couple of days post carnival, and then post carnival pre dealt with foam town, and then the February's village because that's probably gonna happen right back to back, mm -hmm. maybe like one day. But traveling to the bandit location is not gonna take a day, it's gonna take a lot longer. So, there's that. So, yeah, those are really the only sections of time you guys could do that in. Yeah. by chronological capability. And, and just to be sure, uh, uh, fuck, where is it? Benson did find where they're located, right? Correct. He torched that out of the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending on when you guys do this, assuming it's like an out-of-game thing, be interested in listening in again. We'll see. If it even requires a mini session like this. The thing is, you guys are finding like, th was a three score of people? Something like that? Two score? Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a combat map that would have 40 some people on it. That'd be <laughs> a lot. Unincluding you. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of combat, I don't know how that would crunch out, because I'd just be a fucking grind and a slog. At that point, the gorilla approach would be easier. Yes. But it would also be a lot more instances of combat. 